Let me introduce you to the Abu Revo Bass Spinning Rod. Um, there's three rods in the range. There's a seven foot four, um, an eight foot, and a nine foot. They all retail for about 160 quid. Uh, but if you look around on the internet, uh, some of the mail order guys are selling it for about 120 quid. It comes in this really nice hard case. Inside, it's in another nice neoprene case. It's equal section. Really nice bit of cat. This I've used this before on smooth hands. I've not fished for bass with it yet. This is a shorter of the range. Um, just want to bring to your attention a few points. Now, first of all, the foregrip is actually the real seat adjuster, which is really nice. Good idea. That's really comfortable. Another nice little feature, right on the butt cap here, you've got a hook sharpener. Now, obviously, this rod's designed for working lures, soft plastics, that sort of thing. Um, which is what I'm going to be using it for today, but you can easily fish live baits on this, not a problem. Fish on! <laughs> okay, so, and then you have your Revo bass, match with this Revo tarot, look at that guy, look, woo! <laughs> awesome fishing this is, fantastic. That's a pretty tight drag on there as well. It's not a bad little fish, this I shouldn't think. Beautiful action, this rod. Like I say, this is the shorter one of the three. It's ideal for this sort of fishing, for working lures, and it just matches perfectly with this reel. And I've had a lot of bass today, I've had fish up to about eight pounds. Oh, look at it go! <laughs> Superb sport. But there's so much poke in this rod, it really is a hell of a lot of beef down the, the bottom end there. Okay, there's the leader. Fish should be coming up. There's my sand eel. Oh, look at that. That's a proper fish. That's a proper bass. <laughs> That's a real good fish. <laughs> wow. And this rod is just coping with it. Not a problem. Beautiful. Look at him shaking his head, saying, I'm not going in that net. I don't want to go in that net. Yes, wow. you do, baby. That could be the yeah, one. Then. That could be the one. Could be the one. I would say that's pretty close to being the one. <laughs> very, very close to being, yeah. <laughs> I've been chasing a double figure bass for about 34 years <laughs> to the day. <laughs> enough, Honestly. <laughs> my birthday next week. Um, that's very close. Very, very close. Size of that. Beautiful. That's a huge bass. <laughs> That's a clonker. That is a clonker. That really is a beauty. Jeez, oh, that's a fish. Let's hold that up. Well, as you saw, that Abu rod coped with this fish. No problem at all. I don't think he's quite 10. But it's a good 9 pounder. 9 pound 15. <laughs> Funnily enough, that is my biggest bass, 9.15. What a beautiful fish. Well, you saw how much fun I had with that rod and that reel. Well worth the money. And, uh, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm serious. That would be a great rod on the tape. You'd have some brilliant sport with that. You saw how much poke was left in it when this thing was just trying to get out, get out of the net. Are we going to weigh this one? I think I've done it. That is. What ten, are you going to give me? Ten three, I reckon. Ten pound three. Thank Christ for that. <laughs> <laughs> that <was fast>. Thanks <laughs> ever so much, John. Oh, that's taken so John long. John Corlidge, Warrior Charters, out of Levington Marina. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put that fish back. Good man.